In a small village just outside Juba, capital of Awarton, South Sudan, these women are busy taking lessons on tailoring. Women from the diverse ethnic groups of South Sudan and across the political divide gather here to learn other life skills. Most of the women admitted into the program lack formal education, but teachers say they have devised a creative way of imparting knowledge. Uh, you draw the pictures and you have to tell them what are the sizes of this fan and what is the pattern and what is the pattern is the design of what you are going to cut to make out the, the pant. So you have to draw or you bring some samples, uh, a model of a pant to show uh, how a pant looks like. The women here say their lives have indeed been changed. They can now earn a living from tailoring and also command respect from their communities. Since I started learning here, my life has changed. I have my own place in the market where I can make and sell clothes, thanks to this program. Florence Aikoru started this self-help program a few years ago to help build resilience among vulnerable women in the world's newest country. She says the program, supported by church-based Mennonite Central Committee, has continued to meet a huge demand amid limited resources. After the breakout of fighting in South Sudan, the program is now focusing on peace building with help from Mennonite Central Committee in South Sudan. We tend to, 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 to relate much to the peace building aspect. As these women come from different ethnic groups, we emphasize the need to share our resources and to live together. So this also contributes to building peace among the people. While here we don't look at the Dinka, we don't say this is a, a, a anywhere, we don't say this is a Kakwa. We always advise them to use the little resources together and in love. Women in South Sudan perhaps bear the biggest brunt of the violence. However, those involved in this self help program are being empowered to chart a brighter future. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.